So recently there's been a gif floating around the internet of Chris Cremo doing a cigar box routine. Now this was taken from him one of his big juggling and cigar box routines. It's about a 20 second clip and it basically looks like there's a third arm, looks like there's magic involved, there's magnets. A lot of people can't explain exactly what's going on. However, all of it is pretty standard three cigar box stuff. However, he's making it look very smooth with his head movements. He doesn't have a lot of knee movement like a lot of cigar box jugglers do, and it all looks just incredible. It's a really well done sequence, it's very fast, it's very quick, and I'm going to be showing you how to do some of the tricks that he does in that little routine. So to start off, you're going to obviously need three cigar boxes or something similar. Now, I really don't know of any objects that are really that similar to cigar boxes that you can learn on. It's not like with juggling balls where you can just grab some hacky sacks or whatever. With cigar boxes, really, you're probably gonna need cigar boxes themselves. Uh, they have specific juggling ones, that's what these are, so you don't need to like go to antique stores and get specific cigar boxes or wherever you find them from. Now there's no magnets or anything involved, these are all really just wooden blocks and there's nothing to them, really you just have to practice them a lot. But that's not to say there aren't some tips that you can use to really get a lot better at them. So when you first start off you're going to hold the two end boxes kind of like this, really nothing too fancy going on here, and apply a little pressure towards the center box and that'll keep it nice and still. Now, most people want to just flail their arms around, and really, you need three different things going on. There's the knees, there's kind of the back, and then the arms as well. And really, the knees are, I think, the most important part of all of this. However, if you watch Chris Cremo's routine, he really isn't using his knees a ton. A lot of it is in the back and arms, and that comes from a lot of practice. So, you shouldn't start off doing that but eventually you can get to that point. First trick you're gonna wanna learn is where you take the center box and move it to either the left or right side. It looks a little something like this. Now Chris Cremo does this a lot in his routine. A lot of just moving one box back and forth. That's kind of what that first half of the jiff is. And really, he does it really quickly, really fast, and he does it with both hands as well. So you're gonna have to learn it with both hands. I'm not as good with doing it with my left hand, even though I'm left-handed, but from the other way, looks like that, and really if you just combine the two, you can get it going and really make it a lot quicker and it'll look a lot better. Now he also grabs and does it underneath the cigar boxes as well, like that, that was a little bit to the side, but there we go, that was a little bit more underneath. And really combining all of those with the left and right hand will give it a really cool look, really cool illusion, and that's kind of how he makes it look so nice, so clean. And he's also using his head a lot. This isn't necessary at all, but it does kind of give a cool visual effect as if his head is sort of controlling the boxes as well. Now this isn't saying that the only way to do cigar boxes is like Chris Primo. There's a ton of amazing cigar box jugglers out there today. A lot of them are from Japan that I know. I've seen just some incredible routines. There's also Eric Bates, I believe. I think he's from Canada, I might be wrong but he also does some incredible four or five cigar box tricks. And while they may not look like magic like Chris Cremo does, it's a lot more technically impressive and instead of making you confused, it'll just make you like incredibly impressed. Now there's a few other tricks you're gonna wanna learn. Now Chris Cremo doesn't necessarily do that in that little bit. However, they look a little something like this where you take one box and turn it and you also wanna learn how to rotate the middle box like that. That's done by basically putting one arm around like this and then letting go right as you get going and then retouching the box. And then the other trick is done pretty easily. Just work on sort of releasing the box and just turning it. It's really not too difficult. You can even do like a half turn if you want to start off, but really it shouldn't be too hard to really just turn the box one way and then turn it back. Now another trick that he does in the routine is where he basically lets go of all three and then claps like that. Now he does it very quickly and a lot faster than I can do. Uh, and it looks incredible. Now to do this, you're really just gonna wanna practice with your knees bringing it down, up, and then just releasing for just a second. Have your hands right there and really just practice getting that down. 
Now then eventually let go for a little while longer and then clap once you get that solid. Now you can also do other things other than clapping. If you watch the full routine, I believe he does a triple pirouette with that. So he throws all three in the air, spins around three times. I believe Chris Cremo was the first person to ever do that. However, now people are adding four spins and doing all these other crazy stuff. But he was sort of a kind of pioneer in terms of spinning with the cigar boxes. And there's probably some tricks that Chris Cremo did that really kind of shape the way that we view cigar boxes today. Now one of the more difficult tricks that he does is where he takes one box in the end and brings it around to the other end. Now this is more difficult than taking the center box because not only are you bringing one box around, when you steal the box, the other hand also has to move. So you have to let go of both with both hands at the same time to be able to do this trick. So that's why I definitely recommend being able to let go pretty solidly before going on to working on this trick. It looks a little something like this. So basically what happens is you have to start down low, go up, and then with either right or left hand, grab onto the opposite box. When doing that, your other hand is also moving towards the center, grabbing onto that middle box, and then getting ready to put the other end box that you let go of as the center box. So there's a lot going on in that little bit of time. So this one will take a little bit more practice than the others to do. So that's about it for this video. I'm not gonna be going over all the tricks that he does, but I kind of wanted to get the basic ones out of the way so you can kind of understand really what's going on. So while the tricks he's doing aren't too difficult to learn, really it's just how he presents them is what is so amazing. But like I said earlier, there's a lot of other cigar boxers out there today who are doing some incredible stuff and I definitely recommend you check them out. I'm gonna leave their links to some cool videos in the description. I really recommend you checking those out because they are incredible stuff. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I put out a new tutorial every Tuesday. So if you are looking for anything that you wanna learn how to do, I'd love to put out a video for it. You know, I'm putting out videos every week. I've been doing this almost five months and I'm kind of running low on ideas. So if you have anything that you want to learn, please leave a comment. I'd love to try and make a video for it. Put out new videos Tuesdays and Fridays. So if you want to see some more of my content, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton. Thank you again for watching. Peace.